Hello and welcome to Otten Math. In this edition of Otten Math, we're going to take on some problems involving different types of triangles. So in this case, we have an isosceles triangle, and we're given that AB is congruent to AC. They're legs of the isosceles triangle ABC. We're also given that the measure of angle 1 is 5x, and the measure of angle 3 is going to be 2x plus 12. And we're asked to find the measure of angle 2. Well, we know the measure of angle 2 is going to be congruent to the measure of angle 4, because if we have sides that are congruent, the angles that are opposite them are congruent. So let's just mark that up here. Not that way. So angle 2 and 4 are congruent. And we know that 3 and 4 are congruent because they're both vertical angles. So I know that 3 is congruent to angle 2. And I know that angle 3, angle 2 plus angle 1, is going to add up to 180 degrees. So therefore, angle 3 plus angle 1 will add up to 180 degrees. So angle 3 plus angle 1 is equal to 180 degrees. Because angle 2 plus 1 is equal to 180, and angle 3 is congruent to angle 2. Okay, so I'm going to say that 180 degrees minus angle 1 is going to be equal to the measure of angle 3. So since 180 degrees minus the measure of angle 1 is equal to the measure of angle 2, and angle 2 is equal to the measure of angle 3, I can say that 180 degrees minus the measure of angle 1 is equal to the measure of angle 3. So now I have 180 minus 5x, 180 minus measure of angle 1 is equal to the measure of angle 3, 2x plus 12. I solve for x and I get x is equal to 24. Now if the measure of angle 2 is equal to the measure of angle 4 and the measure of angle 3, I can just go ahead and take the equation for the measure of angle 3 and plug the value that I got for x back into that, uh, that definition or that equation. So now I have 2 times 24 plus 12, and that is equal to 60 degrees. So the measure of angle 2 is equal to 60 degrees. Right, and the second and last problem, uh, we're asked to find how many different isosceles triangles can you have that have sides that are whole number lengths and that have a perimeter of 18. So you have to remember back to a prior lesson on the triangle inequality theorem, which said that no two sides um, can be less than the third side, or the third side has to be greater than, uh, excuse me, this, the third side has to be less than the sum of two sides. All right, so we take a look at uh, the possibilities. I have 1, 1, and 16, 2, 2, and 14, 3, 3, and 12, uh, 4, 4, and 10, 5, 5, and 8, 6, 6, and 6, 7, 7, and 4, and 8, 8, and 2. So remember that third side, we'll consider this the third side in this case. Remember that the two sides have to be greater than um, the third side. So in this case, uh, 1 plus 1 is not greater than 16, so this is not a possibility. 2 plus 2 is not greater than 14, that's not a possibility. 3 plus 3 is not greater than 12, that's not a possibility. 4 plus 4 is not greater than 10, that's not a possibility. 5 plus 5 is greater than 8, so here is a valid triangle. 6, 6, and 6, 6 plus 6 is greater than 6, that's a valid triangle. 7 and 7 greater than 4, that works to 8 and 8 greater than 8. So any two sides have to be greater than the third side. And I have four possibilities that meet the requirements um, of the sides that are whole number lengths that have a perimeter of 18. So let's just go back to the triangle inequality theorem for a second and let's understand why that's the case. If I have two sides that are 1 and 1, here's 1 and here's 1, and then I have a measure of a side that's 16, you can see that it's not going to work in this triangle. If I have a measure this way, it's going to be too long. All right, so we need something that's uh, shorter than the two sides combined in order to fit into uh, the segment that's defined by these two sides. So here we have a side length that's 16, and it would go on for quite a bit. So it has to be less than the sum of the two sides. And you can see if we open this all the way up until it was almost a straight angle, right? Here's one and here's one. Right? The length can't be greater than two, otherwise 
it will not connect these two points and create the triangle.